Hello and welcome to Magagia Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. Today, let's see. Today is going to be dedicated to all the bullies out there. All the people who think they can ask you a question and then when you exercise your right to say no, they throw a fit. Today's dedicated to you. So let me share this story. I had a so-called friend, and I'm gonna say it that way because oftentimes we can um, determine if a person is really a friend by the behavior and the way they treat you repeatedly. Now, because somebody messes up and has the wrong response once or twice, that, that's not a big deal. We're all human. I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. We don't always have the right response. But when there's been years of the wrong thing, then at that point, sometimes we need to stop and do an evaluation of whether or not this is worth the emotional toll that you're going through. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, I had somebody that um, approached me wanting to borrow money. So let me say this, I'm not big on lending out money. That's just not my thing because, for example, when you lend somebody some money, you give them $100 and then they want to give you $2 here, $3 here. No, if I lend you 100 then I want the full 100 paid back. And that's typically not how it works. So just for me, this is just my personal rule, I don't lend money for the most part. If I can't afford to give it to you, then I just probably don't do it because I, when I need my money back, I never get it. So if I can afford to give it to you and I want to give it to you, then I'll just give it to you and say, don't worry about it. And then if you choose to give it back, that's fine, but it's not something that I'm expecting. So anyway, that was just a side note. So anyway, this person asked me for some money and, you know, after giving their reason, which, you know, okay, I said, no, I didn't want to do it. Well, this person went crazy and tried to guilt me into giving them the money. Went so far as to verbally berate me and then uh, let their wife get on the phone and she did the same, talking about if you were a real friend, you would give it to us because I know you have the money and a real friend wouldn't say no and it just went on and on and on. So I had to stop it and say, wait a minute. If you ask me a question, regardless of what the question is, it doesn't even have to be about money. Regardless of what the question is, if you ask me something, it's within my right to say no, because I don't have to do it. So if you ask me, um, I'm not to, can you come over here and scrub my toilets? Well, if I'm not in the mood to scrub your toilets, I can say, no, I don't want to come over there and scrub your toilets. Or if you say, I'm not to, um, do you mind babysitting the children this weekend? Because I want to go out, you know, and have a weekend to myself. I need a break. Well, if I want to do it, I can say, sure, bring the kids over. I'd love to babysit the kids. Or I can say, no, I don't want to babysit the children to this weekend. And contrary to popular belief, I don't have to give you a reason why I'm saying no. If I want to give you a reason, I can. I can say, well, no, you know what? I'm sorry, but I'm obligated to do something else this weekend. I'm helping somebody else do something. Or you know what? Um, I had scheduled to just take this weekend off. I'm going out of town just to take some me time so I won't be available to watch the kids. That's great if I want to give you an explanation, but I don't have to because I can just say no and my no is sufficient or it should be. So that's what I want to say today, guys. To all you bullies out there, yeah, you have the right to get mad and throw a fit, but you know what? It doesn't affect me, and it shouldn't affect you either. So to everybody out there who's ever been bullied into doing something or made to feel guilty because they didn't want to do something, but your friend made you feel so horrible because you exercised your right to say no, let me say this to you. Don't give them that power. Don't give somebody the power over your emotions and your feelings and your mental state and actually controlling you. Because you know what? When somebody makes you do something you don't want to do, or they make you feel so bad because you didn't want to do it, then maybe that person is, to me, being a bully and they're not being very nice because 
you have the right to say no. You in are in control of what you do. You're in control of where you go. You're in control of how long you spend doing something. It's your 24 hours in every day and you get to choose how you're going to spend it. It's your bank account and you get to choose what you're going to do with the money that's in that bank account. It's your car. So you get to choose whether or not somebody gets to drive it right? Because it's your insurance and stuff that's at risk. Because guarantee you, more probably 99% of the time, if something bad happens and something can happen, there's no guarantee that nothing won't happen. So say like they get in an accident. They probably are not going to buy you another car. They're probably not even going to pay your insurance deductible to help you get another car or to get that one fixed. So why would you feel guilty about saying no? So I'm just saying to everybody out there, you have the right to say no. There's power in saying no. It's free and liberating and, and you don't have to feel guilty about it. And to all you bullies out there, shame on you. Shame, shame, shame on you for guilting people who you supposedly care about, your friends, your loved ones, your family members, for making them feel guilty for being secure enough in their person to take care of themselves and look out for their own well-being and saying no. So that's the word for today, guys. And that's the practice for this week. Go out and practice saying no when you don't want to do something. Have a great week. Go out and be fantabulous. Smooches.